Now I'm going to create a new item. This time I'm not going to fill in every field. So here I can see the items that I wrote before now have all their identifiers filled in. Here are their QIDs that got filled in by the software. The identifiers for the various statements are also filled in here as well. So this time I'm only going to create a record with a, a person and the country, but I'm leaving the other things blank. So let's go ahead and save this, close it, and then go back to my terminal window. Here's the item that I just created. And if I want to add something, all I have to do is go in here and add the column that I want to create. So let's let Jose Garza's start date be 2001. And let's have his birth date be 1999. So I'll save that, close it and then run the script again. This time when I ran the script, it already saw that Jose Garza was there, but it added the additional properties that I included. If I go back again and add a reference, for the last item, we'll put Google in there. Now I'll run the script again. This time when it runs a script, it didn't find any new statements to write for the items. However, it saw that there was a new reference that wasn't there before. So it added a new reference for an existing claim. So basically what the script does is goes through, if there's no QID, it creates an item. If there's no identifier for a property, then it creates a statement. And if there's an existing statement and a reference without any identifier, then it goes ahead and creates the reference.